Hello, this is Satvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I am a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today again, I will be sharing with you a very valuable information about 3 PNP draws. Yes, 3 PNP draws and these 3 PNP draws are conducted by one province in the last 3 days. 3 PNP draws by one province in last 3 days. So all the information coming to you, but before that, a very small request. If you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update, tips, tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit. Please press the bell icon so this video comes to you immediately when we upload. So without further delay, let's move on to the province which has conducted three PNP draws in last three days and this province is none other than what Ontario yes Ontario three PNP draws in last three days and out of these three PNP draws two PNP draws are held only for a specific category that category is called ECE now what is ECE a burning question I have explained in my previous videos also but again, I'll try to put some more light on this. So this beautiful job, you get knowledge about this. This ECE is actually a early childhood educator. But before I move on to the details about it, I want to share a very important data with you. And nobody will provide this data. In last 10 days, this is again the second type of draw happening in this category. Last 10 days, Ontario has called 434 EC. 434 ECs. So that is the data. Now, let's talk about the profession. Early childhood educator. This is the short form is ECE. And this profession is about uh, managing young children who are typically between the age of like newborn to the age of eight years and what they do they work in preschools they work in um, daycare centers early learning centers in during that work they take care of the child they take care of uh, their physical emotional social well-being they teach them a lot of skills so they get prepared so the child gets prepared for the schooling. Now, in Canada, both husband and wife, they go for jobs. When they are working, who is going to take care of the child? Daycare is very costly. Government is trying to subsidize the daycare. So that is why this profession is in very high, high demand. And the proof is right in front of you. So this is early childhood educators and early childhood educators you can join early childhood educator by after 12th you don't need to do graduation after 12th you can do two years diploma and get a early childhood diploma and register with the early childhood college and you can start practicing now that's about how you can register but what is important is the career path. So there are so many options. You can work in different settings. You can work in licensed child care. You can work in kindergarten. You can work in unlicensed child care. You can work in family support programs. Family support program is a wonderful program. It is called early on. So recreation programs, you can work in a lot of post country institutions. You can work in children's services. You can work in hospitals. So many options. And now let me tell you about the wages the wage the starting salaries are you won't believe it 23 dollars and 86 cents such a great salary you will be getting as compared to a normal person who has just taken business or some random courses right for those the starting salary is 16 dollars here starting is 23 dollars huge difference the other important part is there is a very high demand, very high demand. 
and this demand is not going to close this is there it has been there it will be there so this demand is such a important demand that is why you know so many colleges if someone wants to move on to early childhood educator they can reach out to us we can get them admission in the september or january intake so it's a beautiful thing and you can really get not just a good salary but pr so that's very important not just the salary not and it's a very easy job as compared to working in a warehouse so again this is about the basic little basic knowledge about early childhood educator now let me give you some basic knowledge about a concept because lot of people many times people come to my office they are so confused i am trying to take care of this confusion there is a concept called notification of interest expression of interest in my previous videos i have explained i am repeating here this concept because people i have seen get confused notification of interest you suppose you have a uh, marriage profile you have listed your profile on a shaadi.com so when you get a marriage proposal based on your profile somebody looking at your profile they say oh that's a nice profile and they send you marriage proposal when they look at your profile they send you marriage proposal that is called notification of interest when you go for marriage and you take the proposal that is called expression of interest notification of interest expression of interest expression of interest is for that you do not need a profile on the job portals or on on the shaadi.com portals type but here when we put this concept to immigration the same thing for notification of interest you need to have a profile in express entry for expression of interest you do not require a profile in expression entry so that's the difference with this let us now understand the draw draw came into the category employer job offer under foreign worker stream now again you won't be able to understand where the draw came so i have to tell you the categories the categories of ontario pnp so ontario pnp is basically divided into three broad categories the three categories are express entry linked expression of interest and the last is entrepreneur stream here let me talk about the expression of interest expression of interest is further divided into two broad categories these two categories are the first one is a graduate stream the second one is called employer job offer so graduate stream is for those who have done their graduation from back home and they came here for masters or phd so that is graduate stream we are not talking about this today we are not talking about this employer job offer under this there are three streams the first one is the foreign worker stream the second one is international student stream and the third one is in demand skills we will be talking about these two employer job offer foreign worker stream and international student stream so from the government website let's look at the draw from the government website the draw looks like this sometimes again this is little difficult to understand let me walk you down with this and here is the information of this june 17th the draw came three days before june 17th the draw came 106 people were invited out of this 39 is the score so the cut off score which was 39 and above this score is not crs score this is ontario's own matrix i have explained in my videos this entire matrix this entire concept so i won't be repeating here targeted for ece only early childhood educators are called that's it early childhood educators are called for this and the profiles were created between june 17 one year back june 17 2023 so this is the information about employer job offer foreign worker stream now 
OINP has also conducted the draw under international student stream. International student stream I have explained in complete detail. I have an in-depth video on this. So you can watch that video. It will give you a lot of knowledge. International student stream. Now, the draw happened under this category too. And uh, under this category, again, from the government website, the information is here. But I will be sharing with you step by step the, each category uh, information. June 17th, also, this draw happened. So on June 17th, basically, two draws happened. One, employer job offer foreign worker stream second employer job offer international student stream so this one 84 people were called out of this 60 was the score the cutoff score was 60 and above and the targeted draw was for ece early childhood educator one year back the profiles were taken so all this information is right with you let us now move on to another category and this category is under express entry linked notification of interest. Those two were under expression of interest. This is under notification of interest. So under expression of interest, I have already told you. Now look at the notification of interest, express entry linked, three categories. Human capital, Ontario skill trade. And last category is French speaking skilled workers. Draw came under this. And this category, you need to have profile in express entry. It is mandatory, it is must. And then what will you get? You will get notification of interest. So now I want to share very important information with you. You know where the draw happened. And today, I am sharing very important thing with you that French, if you know French, nobody can stop your PR. I am telling you nobody can stop your PR because either you can get invite in Ontario or you can get invite in federal. So anyways, you will get the invite 100%. That kind of confidence I have on French. And French speaking draw, if you look at the draw, here is the information from the government website. So I'll explain you step by step what happened. So this draw came yesterday, yesterday, June 20th. And total 212 people were invited. The score was, and uh, now it is a CRS score because this is express entry linked. So CRS score. So the score is 305 to 409. And the profiles were one year back. So this is the basic information about the three draws Ontario has conducted in the last three days. If you need to put an application or if you need to file your application in any of the categories, you can reach out to us, whether it is an appeal case or you need to file application under any PNP category or express entry, you can reach out to us. You want to discuss your case with us, more than welcome. You can book an appointment. Our office is located in Brampton. Address, email ID, phone number. Everything is shared right here with you. Very important. If you have still not, if you have still not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Team puts lots of effort in bringing all this information to you. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks.